hello there. We are looking at triangular numbers, square numbers, composite numbers, and prime numbers. So here I have a triangular number. So my first particular one, it's just one dot. So the first triangular number is one. Put a triangle around it, equilateral triangle, makes it easier. So I've got one dot here. The second triangular number, I'm adding two to the one I had before. So I now have a total of three. So my second triangular number is three. My third triangular number, I'm gonna add three to it. So I've got my one, two, three that I had before, three dots but I'm adding three more to it down here. So I now have a total of six dots. My fourth one, I'm gonna actually add four to the previous one. So now I've got a row of four, a row of three, a row of two, a row of one. Total of 10. You can probably see a pattern happening here. From one to the second one, I'm plusing two more dots. Next one, I'm gonna plus three more. The next one I'm plusing four more. And from 10 to 15, I'm plusing five. So how would you work out the next one, do you think? You can see a pattern. I want to know what the sixth triangular number would be. You're going to plus six. So 15 plus six would give me 21. 21, so I have one here. Then I've got two underneath, three underneath, four underneath, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Six plus five plus four plus three plus two plus one equals 21, and so on. You can see a pattern. There are other ways of doing it, but this is a nice, simple way. So this is a triangular number. Looking at this, if I just choose the fourth triangular number, Number 10. Okay, so I'm looking at 10. Fourth triangular number is 10. Is that not only a triangular number, is it a square number? So a square, you were doing things such as 1 times 1, which is 1 squared. 2 times 2 equals 2 squared. And if you want to draw that, again, you just do 1. 1 times 1. Here, one, two, and two down. Makes a square. Next one, three times itself, three times three. You could write it like this. So you have three dots by three dots. And that gives me nine. First square number is one. Second square number is one, two, three, four. And again, you might see a pattern happening here. This is plus three, this is plus five, plus What do you think the next one might be? Four times four, which is four squared. And if you know that, that would give you 16. Which if you drew it, is that four times four? It's like an array, four times four, 16. So from nine to 16, it's a jump of Seven. So there's different ways to find out if a number is squared or triangular. So here, I was looking at 10, like I said. 10. 10 is not a square number. Because 3 times 3 is 9, and 4 times 4 is 16. So 16 is a square number, 9 is a square number, 10 is not a square number. Something times itself does not equal that. Is it a prime number? So a prime number can only be divisible by one and itself. So I'm thinking of factors of 10. So 10, if you think of um, one times itself, which is one times 10, is there any other multiples that fit into 10? So this is where your multiplication skills come in handy. And I know there's two more factors. 2 times what equals 10? 2 times 5. So the factors of 10 are 1, 2, 
by 18. Because when you get asked to do this, you can put them in, in order. One, two, five, ten. So prime numbers are divisible by one and itself, two factors. This has four factors, which makes it not a prime, it is composite. So I could say 10 is a triangular number, it is the third triangular number, and I might draw it to prove it. I could also say it's a composite number because the factors are 1, 2, 5, and 10. It's not a prime number and it's not a square number. So here's my evidence. If you were to put this in a factor tree, so here's my facts, you start off with 10 up here. And then you branch it off, and you don't use 1 and 10, okay, because that's just going to get you to continue it anyway. So you just go to the next one, it's 2 and 5. In this case, 2 is a prime number, because 2 um, is 1 times 2 is 2. No other factors fit into it. And 5 is a prime number, 5 times 1 is 5. So I just circle that, because that's basically, I can't do this any further. Just one more on this, let's just use 12 for example. 12. Is it a square number? No. 16 and 9 are either side of it, so it's not a square number. Is 12 a triangular number? Mm, if I drew this pattern, I'd continue it. I can see 10, I can see 15. So no, 12 is not a triangular number. Is 12 a prime number? Well, I know one times 12 is 12. Are there any other factors? Let's have a look. One, and I'll do 12 over here, because I know there's more. Uh, two times what is 12? Two times six. And three times four. Three, four. So clearly it's not a it's not a square number, it's not a triangular number, it's not a prime number, so it has to be a composite number. If I drew 12 in a factor tree using this information, which are the facts, so my yeah, yeah maybe you don't start with 1 and 12. I could do either one of these ones here, 2 and 6. Or three and four. Let's do three and four. Once you get down to a prime number, and three is a prime number, because it can only have two factors, which are three and one, I circle it. Two. Is two a prime or a composite? Well, I know the factors of four are one and four, but two times itself would give me four. So I branch it off again, and I do two. And a 2. And because 2 is a prime number, the only even number that's a prime number, I circle it. And in this case here, I've got 3, 2, and 2. If you wanted to go the extra step to show how smart you are, you could do um, 12. It's basically like this. I could do 2. How many 2s do I have? 2. So I could put a little 2 squared, and then I would times that by 3. So fancy way of saying 2 squared multiplied by 3. Hopefully this helps you.